Um, all praise to Yahweh Bashimel Shai, double honors to the apostles, the elders, and great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect, the house of David, on down to the women and children, all right, who will be delivered by the Most High, all right, to the 12 tribes, the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, no matter what you look like, all right, if you were chosen, all right, and your spirit agrees with our message and it moves you to preach and it moves you to repentance and getting closer to Yahweh Bashim Shai and his truth and sincerity, all right, you are an Israelite. No matter what you look like, we want to stress that, all right? Um, today's uh, lesson dealing with, you know, the kingdom of heaven and a reason to continue fighting, all right? Because there's particular things we want to see, we want to experience, but we have to continue fighting before we get those things, man. All right? Today's thing that we're going to talk about is there will be no goddamn condoms in the kingdom of heaven, all right? You won't be stressed out over the fact that you have a child on the way or children on the way in the kingdom of heaven, all right? As we know, it is promised to the Israelite men that we will have all the women we want. We'll have our heart's desire, all right? The scripture says in Isaiah 4 and 1 that seven women will take hold to one men, all right? And the women of our nation will be our wives in righteousness. They will be righteous. They will have the, the law, statutes, and commandments written in their hearts, all right? And they will be programmed to, to be pleasing unto you, to be pleasing unto their children, and to overall uh, overall play the role of, with the, uh, of a woman, the role that the, the, the Most High created them for, all right? And we will be able to enjoy sex without worrying about a disease, without worrying about if she gets pregnant, we won't have any side pieces, okay? We won't have any women that we have to sneak and, and, and be with, all right? We will be able to be, all right? As the name of the Most High is, Yahweh, He exists. We as Israelite men will be able to be and exist with creation as the Most High created it and intended it to be for us, all right? So the first scripture we're going to start off with, because I was going to do this lesson a while back, but something told me not to, but looking at the, the world, why not, you know, looking at all of the hell that our people are catching, looking at this place fall, you know, looking at, you know, how sex has been taken and, and, and just misused and misrepresented, you know, we as Israelite men, all right, the teachers, all right, we're here to let you know that all of this madness is going to be done away with, man. All of this confusion, all of this uh, the doubt, despair, hard times, and, 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 you know, what marriage and sex has become. We, we as Israelite men, all right, we're not going to have to deal with that anymore, man. And, and the Israelite women, you're not going to have to deal with the madness, you know, that you have to deal with birth pains, all right, uh, have meeting one man, he having sex with you, and then you never see him again, or, or not, all of these things are going to be null and void amongst our nation, we will be able to live righteous, all right, so the first scripture we're going to start off with is Genesis 1 and 28, it says, and the Most High blessed him, all right, and the Elohim blessed him, and said unto them, be fruitful, and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. All right. So what, what did he say? He said to be fruitful and multiply. Okay. You think they were using condoms back then? Absolutely not, man. And we're going to show you that within our culture, within our laws, all right, there, uh, the, there will be no abortions in the kingdom of heaven. All right. There will be no uh, sterile man uh, in the kingdom of heaven. There will be no woman who can't have a child in the kingdom of heaven. All of these things that we're seeing and that we're sh uh, struggling with, you know, you, you get a woman pregnant, you're scared, you, you don't want her to uh, have it. All of that madness, your woman getting pregnant and going to get an abortion. All of that madness is going to be done away with in the kingdom of heaven, man. 
we have a hell of a lot to look forward to. But I wanted to start here because the mo we, we, we are to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. That is what we're going to do in the kingdom of heaven, man. And we're going to have dominion over the earth. Not only is that, brothers, all right, we're going to have dominion over the fish of the sea, all right? So so you, you go swimming with your children, with your family, with, with the, you know, have a throw a party in a, in a big ocean or something in the kingdom of heaven, have a banquet or a party, a, a real pool party with millions of Israelites. If a shark shows up, the shark is not going to attack us, okay? If any other fish shows up, because there's so many fish that we don't know about shows up, it's not going to attack us, man. We're going to have dominion over the animals. A bear shows up. Your child is going to be able to walk with that bear, that lion, that snake, as pursuant to Isaiah, the 11th chapter. As a matter of fact, when you get Genesis, the ninth chapter, Genesis 9 and 1, and the Most High blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth. All right, right, right now, a mouse will run towards your ass, man. And you, 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 you and you'll run. A possum running towards you. What do you, you go move out of the way, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, the biggest, scariest animals, beast, Komodo dragons, and all of these things, they see you. There's going to be fear upon them. You see? And up on the fowl of the air, an eagle, a hawk, all of these birds, they see you, all right? They're gonna, you're going to be able to communicate with them in whatever way the Lord has set up. But overall, they're not going to attack you, man. And upon all that moveth on the earth, all of the beasts and the worms and the snakes and the fish, and upon the fishes of the sea, and to your hands are they delivered. This is how Noah was able to get particular, those, those particular animals on the ark all right so so that's just something to uh, uh think about but we'll get into the this no condom thing because condoms are a burden man okay now i'm not advocating for brothers not to wear condoms but i hate those fucking things man and i'm looking forward to the day where condoms don't exist amongst our people man that's what i want all right I want to be able to enjoy sex the way that the Most High intended for us to enjoy sex, man. Not only is it a pleasurable union, it is spiritual before anything, but it's created so that we can bring forth other lives on the earth. Now, this is Psalms 127 and 2, because we are living a very, very vain life, man. All right? It's Psalms 127 and 2. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. And what is one of the bread, the sorrows that we have here in this society, man? Children, man. It's a sorrowful thing to have a, a seed in this society, man. Okay? It's a sorrowful thing when you find out your woman is pregnant. I mean, there's a happiness in it because it's, 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 it's beautiful to an extent. All right? to have a seed, to see your actual seed grow. But there's a big sorrow that comes with it. That's a part of the, the sorrows that we have. It says, so, for so he give it his beloved sleep. We don't sleep while we should too, but here's the point. Lo, children are an heritage of the Most High, Yahweh, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth, all right? Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them, that they shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemy in the gate. So happy is the man that has his quiver full of uh, uh, children, man. All right, and we're going to be able to enjoy that here in, in, in the kingdom to come. Now, in the blessings, all right, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 4, it says, blessed shall be the fruit of of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. All right. This is one of the blessings. When you read in Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 through uh, uh, 14, you read all of the blessings 
that would come upon us if we did hearken unto the the, the voice of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. In the kingdom of heaven, these are the blessings that are going to be put on us, man. We're going to be over the other nations, all right. We're going to be over our enemies. We're going to be holy people. All the people of the earth shall know who we are. We're going to have uh, increased cattle, increased children. Everything that we do would be blessed. But on this side, when you go to 41, all right, here's the curse, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 41. And thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. So one of the curses is that we are not able to enjoy our children. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be able to enjoy our children. They're going to be running around free, no worry, and they will actually be able to, to interact with the earth, man, and grow and be righteous, man as we intended them to be you want to see your child go outside and just be free and have fun but in this society we can't have that man all right so here's the law all right there will be no abortions in the kingdom of heaven man these are things that we have to look forward to about and amongst our nation man abortion all right is actually a uh sacrifice to the god Molech, man. All of these abortions are nothing but temples where, where, where uh, Israelite children mainly, primarily, are sacrificed unto these different gods, man. Okay? So it says, Exodus 23 and 26, There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days will I fulfill. So, there shall be no abortions, nor there shall there be a woman who can't have children in thy land, man. When we look at this word cast, this is proving to you that abortion is a sin according to the Holy Scripture, man. All right? According to the Holy Scriptures, if a man had an issue in his uh, rod or in his sack, he couldn't enter into the king, and, and not into the king, to the, uh, the, the temple, man, to the congregation, man. All right, you got brothers with, with all sorts of uh, uh, problems in their prostate. Brothers that had surgeries. You know, you got all sorts of things going on. But guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, we ain't going to have to worry about these things, man. You see? Barren, sterile, man. Nothing shall be barren or sterile. But the word I wanted to look up was cast, all right? All right, shakal, all right? To be bereaved, make childless, miscarry. All right, to make childless, to cause barrenness, to show barrenness, or abortion, to miscarry. Okay, in the kingdom of heaven, as we know, according to Hebrews 8, in 10, it says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their heart, in their hearts, and I will be unto them a God, and they shall be unto me a people. So, and and they shall te not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from least to the greatest. All right, showing you that there's going to be an order in the kingdom, the least to the greatest. All right, now these laws that we're reading about are going to be written in our hearts, brothers. All right and sisters man no more abortions no more being worried about damn I'm pregnant or damn I got her pregnant or laying with a woman that you don't don't even want to have children by all the women you lay with you're going to have children by man and, and, and you're not going to be worried once they get pregnant man okay so, so there shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in thy land. When we get into our kingdom, these laws will apply, man. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 14. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. Thou shalt not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. All right? Showing you, look, man, we we, we, we going to be getting it in, man. Okay? For, for the with, with purpose, man. Okay, nothing will be barren among us or amongst our cattle. You got animals who can't even have children because Esau have messed up their systems and messed up every goddamn thing, man. 
okay? So we're going to be blessed, man. And we ain't going to be wearing no goddamn condoms. We're not going to have any diseases because diseases were also a part of the of the curse, man. Okay? This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, all right, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. So you wonder why we have all of these issues of, of disease amongst the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American? Okay, all high blood pressure, all of this madness. But today we're dealing with the, the sexual part of it. But we, uh, every disease known to mankind, we lead the league in it, man. All right, except skin disease. That's that's Esau, amongst other things. But the the the, the it says also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. All right, chlamydia, all right, herpes, all of these things are a part of our curse, man. Okay, and we have to see our people go through these things, man. Which the Lord will bring up on thee until thou be destroyed, man. Okay, so diseases, all right, sexually transmitted diseases are a part of the curse. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to have to be worried about that madness, man. And that's going to be a good day, man, to, to lay down with a woman and know she's going to get pregnant and know... You're going to be able to take care of all of the children that, that she has and all of the children that all your other wives are going to have, man. And there ain't going to be not one disease, all right, or a worry or even a thought of a disease. You know, you go raw to a woman and then the next day you go piss and you be like, I wonder what that, you know, and then, you know, sometimes it don't, it don't be nothing, but you, you just have worry, man. Just off a simple thing as sex, man. In this kingdom, in this society, in this wicked society that Jake loves, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be blessed above all people, man. Okay? And, 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 and no barren male or female amongst us, meaning we are going to get it in, man. The purpose of, purpose of sex primarily is to, to be fruitful and multiply, man. It just happens to be a pleasurable process. And we're going to get that. We haven't experienced sex we haven't experienced love. We haven't experienced a true marriage and, and what it means to have a family. We haven't experienced that. But in the kingdom of heaven, you best believe we're going to get all of those things in their authentic 100% order. Okay? So, this is Isaiah chapter 60, all right? And 21. Thy people shall all be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planning, the work of my hand, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in this time, man. So, look, we're going to be fruitful and multiply as the Creator intended, man. Okay? But for that to, to, to happen, Esau's going to have to be taken out of the way, man. All right? And we're going to end it off. Uh, oh, and I want to end it. The, the curse of the woman, Genesis 3 and 16, and to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, and in sorrow that shall thou bring forth children, and thy, thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee, all right? That uh, uh, sorrow, all right, that is uh, multiplied in your conception, you women, and you're not going to have to deal with that in the kingdom of heaven, man. Just like the animals, they just have their children, man. Like, like nothing. All right, but, but that the, the, you, we, we, uh, you, you women in the kingdom of heaven, you're not the, 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 the children that you you're not gonna be ah, screaming and no, it's gonna be a pleasurable process. It's gonna be natural. It's gonna be beautiful, man. All right. But before we get this, you know, we got we gotta before we get all these blessings, we gotta go through this and remain faithful to the word, man. But let's end it off here. You know, this is just something that was on my spirit, and I just thought I would share it. You know, some may think it was unnecessary, but it's, to me, it's necessary, man. To any man who's in this thing, this is what you should want, all right? Psalms 144 and 11, rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children who now speak of vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood, okay? So we have to be rid from this devil, all right? Because his way is destroying the, the biological makeup of the man, the biological makeup of a woman, the biological makeup of a child, man. Our families are destroyed, man. 
our children are destroyed, man. Okay? It says that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of the palace, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our sheep and our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. And that's all you have in these streets. It's complaining, man. The bitch did this, man. I had to pick up the kid and she kept the baby. And, you know, child support. The bitch burnt me. It's nothing but complaints under, under this strange child, the biblical Edomite. Okay? Nothing but hard times under his rulership, man. All right? So we have to be rid from him so that we can enjoy the things that we, these blessings that we just read about. It says, happy is that people that is in such case. Yea, happy is that people in whose God is Yahweh, man. And that's the Israelites, man. Starting with the elect, man. Ain't gonna be no more tears, as it says in Revelations, the 21st chapter, man. It's nothing but tears here, man. All right? I started at three, Revelation 21 and three, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Yapa, man, beautiful. Okay, verse two, four, Revelation 21 and four, and the most high shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. All right, children getting shot down in the streets. Go, you, you send your child to a daycare. They come home. You don't know what the hell they didn't uh, heard eight hours out of the day under a demon. You don't know what they've heard. You don't know who's touched them. You don't know what has happened. Send you, let your child ride the bike up and down the sidewalk. The damn pedophile shows up. And a white man snatches and drives off. You never see your child again. Child on a damn milk carton. Organs taken out. You see? You, you meet a new woman. The, the first time that you get down with her, you scare you. I gotta go get a goddamn condom, a box of condoms. Big plastic rubber a uh, piece of abomination you have to wrap around your rod to, to, to be safe from, from, from having a child or get, catching a damn disease from this woman, man. You see? This is the madness we have to deal with here, which is why we have to get the hell up out of here, man. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away, man. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a new heaven and the new earth as it says in uh, uh P peter's man you got people still looking forward to this man just knowing that they're israelites and and and, and keeping the commandments but but the whole world around you is destroyed to where you can't keep these commandments man you can't keep the commandments here in america man there's some commandments you can keep you know to the best of your ability but you're not able to execute judgment and overall your life fucking sucks man how, how can you Understand what we have coming and understand what righteousness is, you know, to what we've been given, the measure we've been in, and, and, and think that this is okay, man. This is madness, man. Okay? But in the kingdom of heaven, man, we're not gonna have to deal with this 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 bullshit, man. Alright? We're gonna we our quiver is gonna be full of children. We're gonna have children running all over the place, man. And we're going to know who each of our children is because it's going to be spiritual, man. But you're not going to see your children every day. You're not going to see your one wife every day, man. Things are going to be flowing, man. Things are going to be flowing in the kingdom of heaven, man. By the time a woman is 15, 16, she's going to have an established family, a husband, children. It's going to be a beautiful thing, man. By the time a woman is 12, 13, 14, and things are going to be flowing, man. Women ain't going to be waiting around. Uh, uh, no, man. Women are going to become women, all right, 
in young age, at, the, at around the age of 12, 13, 14, 15, man, and, and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be moving, man. Okay, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, day, man. All right, and, and, and the, your daughter being married off, you're not gonna be worried about her marrying no nigga, cause all of us are gonna be righteous, man. So these are the things we have coming, man. And this is a reason to continue in this fight. Hey, this is something I'm willing to fight for, man. I'm willing to fight for the righteousness and, and the will of Yahweh Hashem Shah to be done on the earth, man. And this is just a piece of what we have coming, man. As the brother Uriah has been doing beautiful videos on the kingdom of heaven, amongst other brothers. If I didn't, if I didn't call your name out, Salakia, but all praise to Yahweh Hashem Shah.